Welcome, everyone, once again to the podcast. I'm your host, Draconis. With me today is Chase. Hello. Glenn. Hello, hello. And returning once again, Jay from the passenger seat. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? And today we are doing Battle at the Pond, Rowlet. We held the vote on our Discord, and Rowlet was the winner. So, Rowlet is a grass flying type Pokemon, base form of Decidueye. Its base stats are 320, with the highest stat being its hit points at 68, attack and defense at 55 each, special attack and special defense at 50, and its speed at 42. Not pretty fast, but pretty good for a base form Pokemon. Its abilities are Overgrow, when its hit points are one third of its maximum. The power of grass type moves is increased by 50%. Or if you're lucky enough to have its hidden ability, Long Reach. The Pokemon uses its moves without making contact with target, which is great against people who love to use Rough Skin or the Rocky Helmet. And its overall strengths and weaknesses are it takes four times damage to ice, two times damage to flying, poison, rock, and fire types, half damage to water and fighting, quarter damage to grass, and is completely immune to ground attacks. Starting off today with our battle is Jay with his build. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I made a sort of unconventional build for Rowlet. I was sort of looking over the stat-wise and stuff like that. It definitely looked like Rowlet was sort of meant to be a physical attacker, but I said, nah, let's kick that idea right out the window. I'm just going to go with something different. That's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my Rowlet, I put 252 EVs on special attack, and then I split the rest right down the middle for defense and special defense. See if it can at least hold out a couple of turns, given the fact that Rowlet is not the greatest overall compared to, you know, its evolution. For ability, I went with Overgrow, trying to capitalize on its special attack. And with the item, I went for Power Herb. I don't know if you, if y'all can see where I'm going with this, but his moveset consists of Confuse Ray, Double Team, Nasty Plot, and Solar Beam. So in, you know, in the slight chance and the off chance that I'm able to land a Confuse Ray or sort of up my evasiveness to the point where I can then set up some special attack buffs and then blast the Solar Beam off. Yeah, I just sort of wanted to go with just a different route than all the physical attack builds I've sort of been seeing on Rowlet. That's definitely unique. I mean, I, I wouldn't have come up with that one at all. Uh, it's, it's definitely out there and it's definitely something I could see working really well. Yeah, especially, and definitely on the uniqueness as well, because like after taking another look at a uh, Rowlet's like move pool, it does seem to have a lot of physical moves too. So finding like those uh, amount of special moves to use on him, including with the nasty plot, pretty awesome. Well, considering Ooh, the fact that the big move from Sun and Moon, it was always a physical attack and his physical stat and his special stat is only a difference of five point so this coming out the nasty plot i can actually see somebody being completely blindsided with that they're expecting a physical attack so they'll throw out a physical wall not realizing that you've prepped it for a special instead yeah i, I kind of like this <laughs> chase uh, what about you what'd you do for my hoot chicken um of course it's common theme for me to just go all out power and today is no different so for the ability i went for long reach to avoid stuff like static poison point rough skin rocky helmet and the like item i decided to go with an evio light to boost rallet's defense make it a bit more tanky stats i would invest 252 for the evs into hp and then split the rest between defense and special defense make him again a bit more bulky so you can take hits better moves i went with leaf blade brave bird shadow claw and swords dance swords dance obviously there to boost his physical attack and as you can tell all the moves i chose were physical because rowlet is gonna bring the pain so to speak interesting interesting i swear i didn't copy off of you <laughs> <laughs> it's okay you can copy just don't make it obvious just change your answers a little bit. <laughs> no, I, I actually like that where the way you went and splitting the stats seems to be for Rowlet. I I kind of went a different way, but I can see where why you guys would want to split your stats on the defensive side 
just to keep him in the fight just that much longer. I, I, I like what you guys are doing with that. I do I do like seeing like this physical build with bulk works because like it, it is true. I mean, we, we are looking at a like a first base mon and depending on where you're using it, you're definitely using it outside of like a petite cup kind of thing that yeah, you definitely want it to last a little bit longer. So being able to do that while dishing out like some good physical damage, it's always, it's always good. It's always good. Not to be a hater. I don't know. It's just the the physical builds for me. Just I don't know. It it it, 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 it irks me a bit. But it's that that's not on you. That's just the way Raul is built. You know, he's he's built to be a uh, just physical forward. Oh yeah, I can I can definitely understand that. And I know my my build will probably get like completely wrecked in in competitive play. But yeah, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with going with with the norm or with a standard that is pretty much foolproof. Mm. Listen, I'm the Jeremy of this podcast channel. All I care about is power. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right, Glenn, what's your build? I, I did kind of like pick and choose like a little bit of like physical here, a little bit of, well, maybe mostly physical, but like with a little bit of special. I actually went with a Raul with a Brave Natures, uh, so raising attack and lowering its speed because I felt like it's going to be slow anyways. I don't mind losing its speed at all. I guess over here though would be kind of a flex spot. It, it could you could either choose like Brave or uh, I don't know what this special equivalent is, but I, I kind of went with like a kind of mixed attacking Rowlet, so it's got like it's protect i put brave bird on there i put giga drain for the grass move just so that it can like stay alive a little bit longer and then i couldn't find any coverage for like fire types so i just went with steel wing to have its cover against rock types so i actually went with like 252 attack 252 special attack on there as for the item i did also a slap on an evil light as well just so it can survive a little bit more but i mean that's also flexible as well you probably just put on like a life orb on there so that it can dish out more damage since losing hp isn't too much of a big deal granted you can land the giga drain before it dies kind of go with like a mix attacking build uh, maybe might be a little bit better in a trick room setting because of its minus speed but that's not bad either i like the fact that you you're losing you're using uh, Giga Drain to mitigate your damage from off of Brave Bird, right? Yeah, that's a good that's a good damage mitigator for that, especially with the with the Life Orb combined with that. You're definitely going to need that extra bit of damage, which will also translate to a little bit more HP, I think. Yeah, just hoping Giga Drain does enough damage to heal <laughs> a bit. <laughs> I actually really like it. The the idea of having Giga Drain with a move like Brave Bird, sort of getting that HP back. And also if you decide to go Life Orb, like Glenn had mentioned, you can also get that HP back at a certain point where you feel you're getting a bit too low. I, I definitely think it's very good. Yeah, I definitely like the idea of Giga Drain so much so that I, if I were to edit my build in any way, I'd probably swap out Confuse Ray for Giga Drain just for a little bit more survivability. Oh, that would nasty plot. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that would definitely work well for, in your favor then. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely like the, the concept. It was, I, to be honest, I totally whiffed on seeing Giga Drain on the list. <laughs> for his moveset now comes for me and it's funny because like because jay starts going and i'm like oh crap so i went with the long reach ability as well and the item i'm using is life orb to start i i went with roost for two reasons number one for the turn you'd actually be able to survive um a little bit better because the flying type becomes nullified so while you're roosting you do gain hit points however you're also no longer immune to ground type damage but i also think that you also don't take the damage for uh ice types i took roost because i also wanted to mitigate the damage for brave bird which was also on my list that high damage and stab will be tremendous help for rowlet i did choose leaf blade as well partially because of the stab the nice high power damage to that plus the fact that it's got a nice high crit rate as well and as a back pocket move i took shadow claw for effectively the same reason the chance for a high crit rate power is only 70 and i don't get stab off of it however it would give me the advantage to some other pokemon that might be thrown out there that i could utilize the life orb and the high damage for evs went into hit points and attack because i wanted to try and keep rallied in in the fight as long as possible i felt that between roost and the hit points I think that was like the better route to go and i gave him the adamant nature just to bolster that physical damage i actually like that idea of having roost like i also skimmed over that and didn't realize it also gets roost i think he still does take the extra 
super effective damage being a grass type from ice type moves even if he does lose the immunity to ground i think being a grass type he's he takes half damage from ground type moves so that's also not too bad uh you also do lose the is it the rock weakness because you're getting rid of the flying oh what is that i think also yeah 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 and um yeah and then roost is already a good healing skill at all so like that would definitely heal a lot more than than my giga drain that i have on my build especially uh and it's also a fact that it's a self heal and you don't actually have to target the enemy to heal so that's uh, pretty good as well i like that roost ability yeah i i agree with glenn i think roost is definitely a saving grace in many aspects again it's a it's a very good move it heals you if it does do what you said it it does it definitely be a good build I definitely think that Roost is a pretty interesting choice just because of the fact of the type removal. As a matter of fact, I think going back through again, one could make more use of Roost or sort of, you know, try to build something around the Roost. Well, I mean, the, the, the thing about it was that it made a lot of sense to me to, to try and get it in there simply because of the fact that it restores up to half of the HP. So as long as I'm not taking too much damage, I can safely brave bird roost the next turn to bring that hit points back that i've lost from brave bird and at the same time just like whoop the damage so i mean roost brave bird kind of go hand in hand like i don't even see him getting cursed oh yeah he does get cursed he doesn't need that speed now even more so raise that <laughs> damage that would definitely be, be interesting for a trick room is by using curse instead jack up your defense and attack at the cost of your speed but in a trick room that just makes you faster mm -hmm. that makes you the bigger threat Interesting thought though, looking through some of the moves, using Jay's build, Ominous Wind, though not stab, the chance to raise all of the user stats in one shot. The damage isn't terrible, and it now gives the chance to bolster all uh, five of the stats. I mean, that that right there plays really well with the nasty plot combo that you've got going. True. That would be pretty interesting, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of a big fan of sound moves. And I feel like I'd love to try make Echoed Voice a thing on Rowlet. Maybe give him an item that just, what's that move called? The one that buffs him up if you use a single move consistently? Metronome. Ah, Metronome, yeah. So, Metronome with Echoed Voice. Okay, so you could still have some sort of build on him, and then after you're done setting up, then you can start stacking on Echoed Voices. Actually, yeah, that, that, ooh, yeah. That's a nice thought, too. And it's normal type, so it'll pretty much hit everything except Ghost. You know, I, I kind of want to see the math calculations on that, what each Echoed Voice would be in turn with, with the Metronome item. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Especially in a doubles battle, if you got like someone that has like follow me or something. Oh man, you can probably set up pretty, pretty good. Maybe like a good one-two turn setup, and then just try to blast away everything that good voice. So, so you turn a forty power into <laughs> into a two hundred power plus another hundred off of metronome. That is insane. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> is that is that adding? St oh wait, no, Rollet wouldn't get stabbed. Never mind. Just ignore me. Ignore me! I'm just gonna sit in my corner and eat blue. I mean, in exchange for the stab, you're pretty much getting the ability to hit basically anything that isn't ghost. Yeah. By the way, yeah, explode, scrappy, and and gets oh. a good voice. There we go. And it gets stab on it. There we go. Yeah, it does. Oh God. <laughs> oh man, no that that that'll be for another episode then. Yeah, I was sure. about to say. Well, folks, thanks for coming on our. Uh, can't come out to the uh explode build <laughs> oh no but no i mean this is this is kind of how we do it like we'll mention a different pokemon that we can really use like that's that's kind of how the role goes and that's kind of the, the 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 point about this series is literally just to run off of builds kick over ideas and then watch the ideas start rolling into new ideas into different pokemon and just kind of get that ball rolling for everybody well, everyone, that's pretty much it for our episode today. Let us know which build you like the best or even better. Give us your own take on this build. And also make sure, again, check out the passenger seat with your host, Jay and Carlos. Good guys and friends of the channel. And hopefully you'll be with us again next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Don't forget, words are hard. Peace out.